Unboxing Fido T2. Unboxing and parts check. Take out all components from the box. Check if all accessories are included and in good condition. Handlebars installation. Use an Allen wrench to remove the stem screws and plastic spacers. Install the stem, remove the stem cap, and adjust the direction of the handlebars to ensure that the stem is perpendicular to the front fork. Use an Allen wrench to tightly secure each of the three screws on the stem, and then replace the cap. Front wheel installation. Remove the screws and washers from the front axle, leaving one nut and washer in place as shown in the video. Remove the brake caliper spacer. Attach the front wheel to the front axle, keeping the nut and washer on the side of the wheel that does not have a disc. Remove the plastic fork protector. Align the wheel disc with the brake caliper and insert it into the fork. Ensure that the fork's connecting rod is facing forward. Install the washers and nuts. Use a 15mm socket wrench to tighten them alternately on both sides. The mudguard, front basket, and front light installation. Thread the mudguard through the rear of the front fork. Insert the mudguard screws and washers, tighten the nuts with a wrench, and then use an Allen key to secure the screws. Remove the mudguard screws on both sides of the front fork and secure the mudguard support onto the front fork. Remove the screws from the front basket on the headset. Align the front basket with the screw holes on the headset. Insert the screws and tighten them sequentially. Adjust the angle of the front light. Align the front light plug with the arrow and insert it to complete the front light installation. Saddle and pedals installation. Take out the pedals and check the R markings. R indicates the right pedal. Install the R pedal on the right crank by rotating it forward towards the front wheel. Take out the pedals and check the L markings. L indicates the right pedal. Install the L pedal on the left crank by rotating it forward towards the front wheel. Open the seat post quick release and adjust the seat to a comfortable height. First time use. Insert the battery key, rotate it to the on position to start the battery power. Press and hold the instrument power button for approximately 3 seconds to turn on off the instrument power. Press the M button on the instrument shortly to switch to the parameter display interface. Quickly double click the M button on the instrument to turn on off the front light. Press and hold the M button on the instrument to unlock slash limit the speed of the vehicle. Before unlocking, the maximum speed can reach 15.5 miles per hour. After unlocking, the maximum speed can reach 28 miles per hour. Short press the gear button on the instrument to adjust the assist gear. Gear zero means the vehicle has no electric output, but the horn and headlights can still be used normally. Quickly double click the gear button on the instrument to switch speed units between KM slash MPH. Press and hold the gear switch button until the speed display starts flashing. Maintain a constant speed for about 8 seconds to activate cruise control. The cruise indicator will light up on the display. At this point, releasing the throttle will maintain the cruising speed, squeezing the brake lever or twisting the throttle again will disengage cruise mode. 
you can push the shift lever on the right handlebar, pushing the larger lever outward shift to a lower gear while pushing the smaller lever outward shift to a higher gear. How to remove the battery for charging. Rotate the key counterclockwise to the OFF position, then push the key inward and continue rotating counterclockwise to the unlock position. Lift the handle located underneath the saddle and flip the saddle forward. Hold the battery handle and remove the battery. Insert the battery along the rails on the bike. Flip the saddle back and lock it into place. Open the dust cover of the charging port on the side of the battery. Connect the charger to the power source. A red light indicates charging, while a green light indicates a full charge.